Patrick here from the Disc Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about Moana um, and a possible meet and greet of some locations coming to Walt Disney World, which, as you can probably hear, um, there's some music and stuff going on because, Victoria, where are you at this precise moment? I am currently on Corner Street of Magic Kingdom. Yes. So, yes, yeah, so this is kind of a little bit different doing a... We're actually doing a podcast recording with you actually in Disney World, which definitely proves the point now that you're now a local. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, because let's just be honest, if I was on a trip to Walt Disney World, you wouldn't be hearing from me other than everything being pre-recorded. I'd be off gallivanting around trying to make the most of it. So, exactly. um, you've been hearing some stuff about some um, Moana um, stuff coming to Walt Disney World. So, do you want to give us a rundown of what that all that is about? Sure. Um, so basically, um, what I was told is that Moana will be coming to the Boo to You parade that's only during McGee's Not So Scary. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also hearing rumblings of a possible meet and greet in Adventureland, but I haven't had that con one confirmed. But I do know that she will more than likely be in Boo to You this year. Oh, cool. That's cool. So, I mean, hopefully in some ways they give, give her a float because I think that would work quite well. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what... Like, would she give her her own float, or what unit would she be a part of? I was discussing this with my friend this morning, and we were coming to the conclusion that she would probably reuse one of the floats, like one of the yeah. floats that's already there. And I have just now put the Boo to You song in my head, so that'll be there for a few weeks. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, also, um, I think as far as, because she's not anywhere at the moment in, in Walt Disney World, is that right? That is correct. She um, was replaced in Hollywood Studios by Star Lord and Baby Groot, so she's currently not anywhere in Disney World property. I mean, it makes sense for them to do something. I mean, I'd like to have you know a, a permanent thing for. Personally, I'd rather have Maui than Moana, but um, you know, um, but they can't quite squeeze the rock in there. But I just feel like Moana <laughs> seems to work a little bit better as um, I believe I saw. It. Yeah, that was that was Mickey's royal friendship fair. <laughs> uh, this is quite just quite like quite surreal. We just like, oh yeah, you're just Main Street behind you there. Um, but um, we saw sort of Maui over in Shanghai. I think they had it, so that would maybe a precursor to what we might see at, at the Buji Parade. It is possible. We were also discussing that. All I know really is Moana right now, and I know there's been a demand for her yeah. to return. So I know for sure she's definitely coming back. The pe people have been saying Maui too, but I, like yeah. I said, I haven't really heard anything more than rumors. And I suppose as well that I kind of sl you know, slides into um, the Christmas party as well because obviously you know they can kind of get a few months out of this, and they're so close together. True, true. Mm. I mean, I do feel like, like Moana's that situation is a bit like they didn't quite go down the full line like with Frozen, but they really want to kind of get that that content into the parks a little bit quicker than maybe they have been. Oh, absolutely, because I know for a fact that um, the Disneyland Moana sippers that they have, I know for a fact that they are currently here, and they've been here for a while. I, I just don't know for a while why they weren't being sold, and this kind of makes sense. Yeah, no, I mean, I just feel as a whole, um, just sometimes don't make the best of new franchises, I mean, like Zootopia and stuff like that, they don't tend to keep them in the parks very long, if at all. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's mostly because they're experimenting, they don't want to put too much into a product, or if they don't know it's franchise material, pretty much. But then I am actually getting to that point now where I feel like anything that they're putting out at this point really would be a franchise for a few years regardless, um, it, even if it is something quite small, like a, a little meet and greet like they did with Inside Out. So it's a shame they haven't set up a little area, or even just put her in the princess hall. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm, see, the thing with Princess Hall is it was supposed to be mix and match, but I don't know what happened with that. But her being there would be a good idea. Yeah, maybe, I mean, I know they got loads of Mo Moana stuff over in Volcano Bay. Maybe they could just send her over there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she could sneeze a vacation yeah, there. Yeah, but on that note, um, anything else about Moana at all you want to add on this episode? Um, I'm going to keep updated on that, so just stay tuned. We should be finding out some stuff very soon. Yes, hope so. On that note, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching or listening to us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button or leave us a review on the video one. Check us out over at DizKingdom.com. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter, and he calls me PP. And Instagram, he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters. Bye. Bye. Bye.